Hi guys, my name is AP Ashton. I'm here today to show you how to create a pungar. I hope I pronounced that right. So uh, today we're gonna look into is making the base roof of it. Let's just make the base of it. I think I'm saying that right. All right, so I just been looking online, looking at different images, and I saw people do it in 3ds Max and Maya. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in two different ways inside Cinema 4D. So this where I'm going to show you first on how to use the soft selection inside Cinema 4D like what this guy is doing inside 3ds Max. So let's get started. Okay guys, welcome to episode one. First thing I did is put on quick shading lines in my Cinema 4D project. Then I'm gonna go and get a plane. Which you hold down and get your plane. Okay. So what next is we go to the width segments and we turn it down to one. One. Alright. And next is you can notice I have the grid on, okay? So make sure your grid is enabled because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the grid as my guide. Okay. So I'm gonna turn it into an edible object by clicking C on the keyboard and just hit edible so after that all you need to do is go to inner extrude extrude inner sorry and I'm gonna put that to 100 to offset to 100 and hit apply buff so what we're gonna do now we are going to look into moving it up but I just want to stream scrunch it in a little bit like make it a little bit rectangle on my side you can do however you want. So if you go to your move, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to coordinates and you go to see your Y and you're gonna turn it to 100 and you hit apply. All right, good. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go in edge mode and select these two edges and right click and go to connect points and edges. All right, so after we do that, all we need to do now is select that middle part, go to the Y, and put that to 200 now, and hit apply. Well, so we have this ugly looking shape. So what we need to do is go in point mode, select these two, uh, select the point, and select the point on the next side, and right click, connect points and edges, both, and do the same thing for the next side. Okay, so we got a nice looking shape already got going on. Next now is we need to go back in polygon mode and we're gonna go to select and we're gonna go to loop selection. And now we're going to subdivide it. Now, this is up to you. If you wanna do things a little just fast your way, you can go and do subdivide if you want. But with the new R18, I really like this feature where you can use the loop, pot and cut, and you know hold down shift, and you make the amount of parts you want, the amount of lines you want. I really like that feature. But I guess so for any person doing the older versions, y'all might just use subdivide one time and done. So that's how subdivide would work, like that. Double it, how much, how, this is depending on how much you want it smooth, okay? But I'm gonna go with loop pad and cut for now. So I'm going to cut right here and nah, I'm gonna do it like, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna hold down shift and now I'm gonna add my lines, the amount of lines I want. And I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna look into the edge now. And I'm gonna hold it down. And that's good enough for me. And I'm gonna add. Mm, okay. So I'm gonna speed it up on this point and just do the next sides. I mean, it's really simple, straightforward, the way I want it. I'm making sure that everything will be nice and um, even. So I'm really using my guidelines the best way I can on this and both. All right. 
Okay, so mm, do this side now. All right. All right, so now I pretty much got what I want and that's the amount of subdivision I want for right now. So now it's time for me to make my curve of, of my roof. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in point mode and I'm gonna select the four corners of my roof. And now I am going to go to the move attributes and enable saw selection, okay? So once you enable that, not saw selection in the hair simulator, okay? Just giving you heads up on that. So I have it enabled, so I have this white and yellow, and this is the default. So you have the radius and the strength. So I'm gonna leave strength up, and the point I'm gonna aim for is right here, what I have selected just now. So what I'm aiming for now is to turn on my radius to like 140 to that point. Now that depends on your object, the point you're trying to reach for. So I know right now that can be softened in that area to make my perfect curve. So now I'm gonna turn the fall off the spline and we have this nice graph here. And you don't need to fool with that. You wanna fool with it, you can go ahead. And now if I pull up, I have a nice, a nice curve got going on the way I want it. Now you could make this the perfection like I said, I'm just showing you how to make the base of it. Because I haven't choose which building I really want to choose yet. But that would be in episode two on the main one I'm the main one that I want to make. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back. Okay. I just wanna go back. I'm gonna disable it for right now. And I was supposed to duplicate the object so I can give you the other which way of how to do this. So I'm just gonna enable it again and go back. And I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna call this roof underscore base two and copy that, paste that in here. And basically I'm gonna call it one. All right, so that was the first one. So we got the first one enabled again, and I'm gonna bring it back up, all right? And now I am going to aim for the second one now. I think that's perfect enough. So I am gonna go second one and hide the first one now this one is where we're gonna use a deformer so what we're gonna do is go in point mode and what we're gonna go for we're gonna go to create and deformer and FFD and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit this container to my model so knowing how my grid set so properly, uh, it's gonna put 400 and poof, everything right in place. So I'm just gonna give the grid point six for the X and six for the Z. And now that's pretty much it. Now, what I wanna do now, since I'm in point mode, I'm gonna select the FFD and drag it into my roof base too. And now how I'm in point mode, I can select these. And now I could pull up. So I'm gonna enable the first one and pull up slowly until I get where I want it and buff. So now, you know, now you can also use this one. So that is the only two methods I've came up with so far for just making the base of it. 
and um, getting it to look like this and um, in the photos I showed you earlier and how he did it inside 3ds max so this is how you pretty much do it inside cinema 4d um, I really hope that this helped y'all and can't wait for episode 2 where we're gonna really really make the real object completely but this is just for people who want to get things started so see y'all in the next episode episode 2 where we're gonna be adding things like the roof shingles and stuff so see y'all later guys peace